Hi my little nuggets, today for the second time tonight I'm going to attempt to film my brush collection video Like I said I've already just filmed this and it basically cocked up So yes I'm going to have to film it all over again Okay, um, my brushes I keep in this Starbucks cup and this is London edition cup I don't have many brushes at all compared to a lot of YouTubers on here, bloggers, it's not many at all um, so what I thought I would do is basically just go through the different type of brushes that I have and the ones that I would recommend to people. Uh, the first lot of brushes I'll go through are going to be my blusher brushes and I'm going to talk through my MAC brushes. Basically a lot of my collection is by MAC. Um, I'm a big MAC um, fan when it comes to brushes. I love the makeup and I love the brushes. You know, my recent video that I did was uh, my favourite MAC eyeshadows. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, then please do um, go and do so. Uh, the first brush that I've got is, I think this is the, could be the 190 or the 129. I honestly can't remember because it's the writing basically all rubs off of the MAC brushes. And it is the blusher brush. This is just fantastic for applying um, blusher. So I would highly recommend this. Next one is a bit smaller and it is the 109 and it is the contour brush. I also use this to apply blusher and as you can see it is smaller than the this one here. Um, like I said, I'm ideal for contouring, ideal for applying blusher. blusher. I can't, do you know what, I can't say brush or blush so I'm probably going to get them mixed up so hey ho. Um, and last brush that I've got is fantastic for the powder brush or over powder brush or for um, using um, when you feel oily and look at right now it looks like I could actually have done with that but hey ho we'll just be greasy um, and it is the 134 powder brush and these guys these are just the softest brushes that I've ever owned. Um, next blusher brush is one by Real Techniques and this one was designed by Sam Chapman. Both the girls now from Pixie Roo, Sam and Nikki Chapman have the names on these brushes. If you haven't checked them out guys then please do go um, and do so. Um, and this obviously is the biggest blush brush that I own. It's a lot bigger than the others apart from the powder brush which isn't really a blush brush because let's face it you ain't going to put powder on with blush it on with that are you? Unless you want to look like Aunt Sally. Um, you, may, you may want to, you may not want to. Um, but anyway, um, this brush here is a good brush for using blush air. It applies it to the cheeks of your uh, apples of your cheeks. So, there you go. Something like that. Next brush is the Expert Face Brush, again by Real Techniques. This brush is fantastic for putting foundation on. It's fantastic for adding powder during the day when you know you've got your any oily spots. It's fantastic for putting blush on. I've used it for all three of them and I would highly recommend this. I think it's only about £10. So compared to the MAC brushes it is really cheap. Um, next brush that I've got was a complete waste of time to be honest with you because I don't wear foundation. I don't know why I got it but it's the 190 the, um, which also means this isn't the 190 um, foundation brush. I don't really tend to use this. If I'm going to use it now, guys, I'll use it for applying face masks because it distributes it evenly. So that's it. That's all I use it for. Now we're moving on to eye brushes, which is basically um, what's left in my collection. Uh, the first lot of brushes I've got are these ones that I got from Jessup. And these were purchased from eBay. They cost me three pound fifty for four, which, to be honest with you, didn't really work out because <clears throat> you could have got ten for the same price. But I only saw that after I bought these. But hey ho, these are all eyeshadow brushes. You've got different um, sizes, you know, different uh, types. I tend to use all these, you know, to fill in the whole eyelids. I don't use any of them really to, you know, smudge anything in. Uh, this one I've never used before. I probably would use this, to be honest with you, for applying highlighter and applying, you know, concealer, things like that. Um, next brushes that I have are from Real Techniques, and this is the eye brush um, range. I have these five uh, brushes, to be honest with you. 
I don't really tend to use these often for eye brushes. Um, I've used this one before to apply, you know, on the whole eyelids. I've also used it as um, a highlighter brush, a concealer brush. This one I use as a highlighter brush. Um, this one here I have used as basically, you know, eyeshadow under the lower lash line. But these I haven't found a use for at all. But I suppose one day that might. Um, next eyeshadow brushes are two from e.l.f. These cost me about £1.50 each. They're not the most fantastic brushes, guys, but they're not the most crap either, to be honest with you. And they do the job. Um, this one is the eyeshadow brush, which basically, as it says, you apply eyeshadow with. And this one is a smudgy brush. And what I tend to use this one for is for eyeshadow under the lower lash line. Then I have my Barry M brush which stands out like a sore thumb because it's bright blue and this is just an eyeliner brush and I love using this for cream eyeliner on the um, upper lash line to add um, smudging eyeshadow and also on the lower lash line. This brush I got from Wilkinson's recently and if you've watched my July favourites you would have noticed this brush. It cost me about £4 and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm definitely getting more of these brushes because I don't think you can have enough eyeshadow brushes to be honest with you. I think I need more. Um, and on the this end here is just a smudgy brush which is fantastic to use in the crease or the outer V. And this one here is an eyeliner brush uh, which is fantastic for applying cream eyeliner or basically a thin line on top of your upper lash line. Last set of brushes that I have are all eyeshadow brushes again, and these are all by MAC. I went through a phase a couple of years ago of basically buying all MAC brushes. So, you know, I have got uh, the brushes that I want, and I look after my brushes, whether they really cost me £30 or pounds, whether they cost me £2. I will show you the products that I use at the end of this video, guys. Um, the first brush that I've got is the MAC 210. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, the MAC 210, and that is just a pencil brush. I don't reach for this brush, um, to be honest with you guys. It's this one that I reach for mainly. Um, I'm not very good at applying eyeliner, especially with these type of brushes, so I wouldn't really recommend it. But if you are good at applying eyeliner with these brushes, then, then I would recommend it. Next brush is the 227 um, by MAC. And this one is basically used to apply highlighter on your brow bone. And that's all I've used that for, to be honest with you. It's not really one that I needed, but I ended up getting it. Um, now we're on to the four brushes that I do actually use and I would highly recommend. The first one is the 217 and this is by MAC. This is ideal for applying colour all over the lid. You can apply colour into the um, crease of your eye as well. Um, I use it regularly. I'm doing an eye makeup look. 99% of the time I'm using this brush. Next one is a 239, which is this flat shader brush. Again, highly recommended. Use this all of the time. It's ideal for packing colour on to your eyelids, which makes the colour more intense when you pack it on. Next one, I'm not sure. Um, this is, I think this may be the 219. I'm not 100%, I'm not 100% sure, guys. Uh, this is a pencil brush and I love using this for adding colour to the outer V, adding colour on the upper lower lash lines. And the last brush that I've got is the MAC 224 and this is a blending brush. I never ever put colour on this guys, I just use this to blend any colours out, blend any colours out into the crease as well. Um, so yeah, that's another one I would highly recommend. So that's my brush collection. Like I said, it's not that big, um, but you know, it, it does me and I do want to buy more brushes because I just love collecting them. One thing that I make sure that I do is take care of my brushes because I paid a lot of money for um, quite a few of them. I think this one alone was about £35. So I want to make sure that they're going to last me a very long time. And there's two ways you can do that. The first way is to basically give them a spot cleanse and for that I use the MAC brush cleanser. This only costs about three or four pounds. It's not that expensive. If I'm being really lazy I'll just wipe them on a baby wipe. 
Um, with this, you put it on a cotton pad in your hand, twirl your brush around, and then just leave it to dry. I also spot clean, um, not spot clean, cleanse, fully cleanse my brushes on a weekly to fortnightly basis, dependent on how often I've used them. And there's two products that I use. At the moment, I'm using the banana conditioner from the body shop because this was recommended when I went to the shop. I washed them last night with this and they, you know, looking you know, really good, you know, I'm really happy with that. Um, you can also use Johnson's Baby Shampoo, which is a lot cheaper, about 99 to £1.50. Um, what you do with that is I basically pour the shampoo in my hand, swirl the brush around and then rinse it under the tap until basically the makeup comes off and keep obviously doing that for each brush. What you should always make sure that you do when you're drying your brushes, guys, is to lay them down flat like that. Not to stand them up because that way the water is just going to run down and ruin your brushes. And I believe it means that the hairs start coming out. So lay them flat overnight and they will dry really quickly and they'll be ready to use. So that's my brush collection, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I shall love you and leave you and I shall see you all soon. Bye.